Hey, how's it going guys? So today I'm going to be bringing you my first video on how to use sound software. So today specifically I'm going to be talking about FL Studio, uh, Free Loop Studio 10. So these are going to be kind of the basics on how to make a beat and what you need to do to start making beats of your own. So today I'm just going to stress the importance of packs or more specifically or more generally actually samples. So samples are pretty much any kind of sound that you have pre-recorded sometimes people sample off of other songs and sometimes people have uh, samples that they have made or received from other people who have made them and uh, you can also generate samples in what are called plugins and um, basically I'm going to be showing you guys what I use to make for example I'll make a drum and bass drum line a pretty simple one so I'm going to go over here to the left where it says packs and this is this is the browser and you can open it up there's a there's a sh oh, shortcut for this right here and open it up so I have a bunch of packs that I uh, I, I downloaded myself and I'll include some in the links to the description because a lot of them are free for example this is a good hip-hop pack called creativity drum kit swag out and I got this um, for free through download so it comes with a lot of different sounds instruments for example these are all claps then you got kicks these are mostly hip hop beats, and then also this doesn't come. It doesn't doesn't come with this sample pack, but there's also uh, hi hats and other percussion sounds like crash cymbals that you can add in. So for um, drum and bass or for like electronic drums, however, I will most likely use my electro house drums or my favorites, probably my future sample pack, which I'll have a link to. But I also took a few of my favorites and ma made a work in progress uh, pack, which is the G Dibsy Go To drum samples, and this makes it easy for me to know exactly which ones I'm using. I put them in a. Uh, bunch of uh, subfolders like claps, cymbals, crash cymbals, hi-hats, kicks, and snares. And this, there's not a whole lot of uh, samples inside each of these, but for example, I will start with my kicks. So I have most of these. These are from the Swag Out pack, and these ones are from the Future pack, but they're some of my favorite ones. So this is kind of just a basic kick. So first thing I want to do is make them. Usually I make my drum lines uh, 16 bars, and just to quicken everything, you can fill each four steps. So right now it's on the, on the downbeat. I'm going at 140 BPM. I can move it up a little bit. For a drum and bass tracks, so are usually pretty fast and they vary. But so then I want to um, <clears throat> make this a little bit. So it'll be pretty simple. So. Obviously, you can pretty much quickly change what sound you want. If you wanted to add this one, you just drag it on top, or you can add this as an extra one, whatever you want to do. But usually, when I pick out the kicks that I want to use, these are just two random ones. I would probably change it because there's better ones I have. But then, you want to hold shift down and you know get get all of them together. And what I usually do is assign a free mixer track. So I'll link them to this track. You can also click them and go like this and move it to that whatever FX uh, mixer you want. And then you can add effects to them. The first thing I usually like to do is the fruity limiter because this allows me to control the gain and the ceiling. And the ceiling is important because it, if you control the ceiling, you control how loud it sounds, but also just basically make it not clip. And clipping is something that happens when the bar up here you can see it, or over here if it's above zero decibels. Um, it's basically when you have instruments or a master volume that's too loud and it just kind of messes with the waveforms and it doesn't sound good. It's basically blasting. So um, with this one, you can control it. Key I think gets distorted really easily, so you want to keep it down. But this is a way to control it. Another way to control it is now you have linked. You can control it with this just overall volume tab. You can keep tabs on how how uh, loud it is here. But more importantly, is a master. You might want to assign a limiter to the master. And this way you can control the master volume. And the ceiling is important. You can see on the top. Okay, well you can't see it with the kick, but a lot of times you'll see up here it'll get all red or yellow and it'll blast. So now we just have a, a basic kick line. Now we're gonna have to add in a um, probably a snare since it's drum bass and these are actually the ones I use for drum bass mostly but obviously you change them so oh and before we do that for the kick to make it more realistic we can go over here we already selected it just go over here and add another effect these are basically after effects and I'll, I'll emphasize just what you can do with these and what they're good for later in another video but for now add in a reverb because reverb is really useful and for kicks you don't want it to be too much or else it's kinda overdone so that's a little too much lower the decay Maybe the reverb is just too much. You just want it to sound more realistic and maybe have a little bit of carryover. I don't like I don't like the, the sound too much of that kick, but I could change it later. Basically, it's just 
kind of a demonstration purposes. And you could change all sorts of things on it. The low cut frequencies, it kind of changes everything, but whatever. That's just a way to do it. More importantly are for the snares. If you're gonna have it on this beat, you wanna make these sound more realistic. So link this one to another, maybe FX2. And if you add a reverb to this one, this is what it sounds like. You see how it makes makes it sound like it's in a room, not just a little preset samples. This is one of the ways to make them kind of your own, to change samples to be your own, which is totally a good thing to do. Um, then we can also, like I said, a limiter. Just let me get a little louder, but also you want to control this to make it balance. So next thing we could add is a symbol, and I have a few symbols I have here. This one. So. Off beats for now, so it's a very simple drum pattern. And right now we're just like I'm just using this pattern block, 16 bar measure, 16 bar phrases that is. If you want to make it more complicated, you can go. Now whatever you want to do with these patterns, you can just go off beats or I kinda like that, but you can also do this. Sound a little more fancy. We'll use this for now, but I can obviously mess with this later. For now, I'm just kind of showing you guys a pattern. So if you want, add another snare and control the, uh, the volume of each one. So, so I'll make maybe this one quieter. That's pretty simple. Now, um, a good way to do it is to, a good way to make another pattern that's a little more complicated and builds up is just to go new pattern and maybe call it drums too, something simple like that. And then a really quick way to do it is to go to drums one, double click, control C or just copy, drums two, control V or paste. So you have the, another one, so you can just add in like a little more complicated of a beat. playlist which is used just click this one on the left and you can see what it says over in the top left corner over under the file so I click that and then you have your playlists up here so be basically these tracks organize the whole playlist and basically allow you to organize your songs so pattern one is my first drum drum thing and make sure you're snapped on the left make sure your snap is step or beat I like beat and then you can modify it if you want to get more fine-tuned but so there's pattern one and make a couple of those maybe cut it out at the end We'll see, and then drums two comes in. This is more complicated. So these are just the just the percussions, and it, it you can already see through percussion how important it is to have packs. Unless you're using uh, plugins, for example, like channels adding plugins to use for your uh, for your drums, and making specific sounds. It's, it's good to have packs, and I like using packs and just some After Effects because they're very simple. Just these samples. So uh, and these aren't even these are just small MP3 files that. Uh, I downloaded for free off of different different places and then ar arranged to make my own and that I know how they sound which makes it quicker that makes the whole process a lot faster if you have your own so we're, we'll see how this sounds So pretty basic drums in fact I might even want to make drums one more basic not this and is this link? nope you can see it sounds better already so, so there we go So that's all we have here. And maybe to organize it, a good way to, it's really important to stay organized. A good way to do that is to maybe label each one. 